As the girl slips on advanced VR goggles she's instantly plunged into an immersive World War II shooter game. Trapped in a sheep pen and surrounded by relentless gunfire, she and her teammates are in a tight spot. But after surveying her surroundings the girl devises a plan to break free, releasing the sheep. With the sheep as cover, she and her teammates release an unmanned tractor, then throw incendiary bombs to create a smokescreen. In the chaos they take down several enemies and secure victory. You can send the money in my phone. You're welcome. Flynn is a gaming prodigy from a small town, effortlessly conquering even the most challenging levels. However, she's not consumed by her gaming. She works a day job and occasionally uses her brother's account to level up for others in exchange for extra cash, which she uses to pay for her sick mother's expensive medical bills. Flynn firmly believes that while gaming is a virtual experience, real life must be faced head-on. One day, while Flynn is working, she receives a peculiar package addressed to her brother Burton from an unknown company. Inside is a device resembling a brainwave scanner. That evening Flynn shows the device to Burton, who explains it's a new market untested device sent to high-end gamers around the world for beta testing, and he's one of the selected few. But Flynn is the better player, so Burton lets her experience the device. Unlike the VR goggles, this device is simpler to use, just wear it on your head, connect the transmission line and count down. Right, this is not working. What? Holy shit! In a blink, Flynn finds herself in her brother's avatar, in a familiar yet unfamiliar virtual world. The scenes are incredibly realistic, with only the massive statues in the city serving as a reminder that this isn't reality. Well, hello. Welcome to the sim, Easy Ice. This simulation game, unlike the VR games Flynn is used to, has no user interface, just a voice in her head providing guidance. Guided by a mixed reality navigation, Flynn's character arrives at an ancient castle, where a butler made of black particles and white machinery helps players complete their registration. What's even cooler is that players can not only see and hear but also feel everything in the game, thanks to brainwave simulation that controls the character's body as desired. But it's a game after all, and there must be a main mission. The current task for beginners is to infiltrate a party at a research institute and win over the most beautiful woman there, convincing her to willingly come home with him. It seems like a challenging mission, but thanks to her brother's handsome appearance and Flynn's keen understanding of women's psychology, she succeeds with just a few words. Thus, disguised as her brother, Flynn gets intimate with the woman in the car and follows instructions to knock her out. However, the robot driver detects danger and attacks, attempting to kill her with a knife after a series of punches and kicks. Thanks to Flynn's quick reflexes, she slams on the brakes and turns the tables on the robot. Shortly after, Flynn meets the owner of the guiding voice from her mind, the very person who had instructed her to abduct the woman in the car. However, this figure doesn't seem like a typical NPC, speaking in terms that Flynn doesn't understand and remaining tight-lipped about further mission details, simply saying, see you tomorrow before logging Flynn out of the game. Back in reality, Flynn is utterly astounded by the immersive experience of the game. Eagerly awaiting the next day, Flynn rushes to her brother's RV, dons the device and re-enters the lifelike simulation game, counting down from 6 to 1. On her second foray into the game, Flynn finds herself lying in a cold operating room, with doctors disinfecting her left eye preparing for surgery. The woman who had been guiding her reappears, ready to remove Flynn's eye. Despite knowing it's all virtual, Flynn is overwhelmed by fear. She tries to exit the game, but the woman informs her that only she can end the connection she initiated. Flynn as the player has no choice but to undergo the gruesome eye transplant surgery. In this tactile and painful simulation even the pain feels real. After the surgery, Flynn's game character now possesses the eye of the abducted woman, used crudely to unlock a door with the woman's iris pattern. They arrive at a location resembling a secret military base, housing gigantic whales and a cache of biochemical weapons. Their target is a mysterious room deep within the base marked by an inverted cone hanging from the ceiling amidst a water curtain, emitting a strange green light that painfully strikes Flynn's eye. Despite her attempts to avoid it, Flynn is held firmly in place. Mastering. <laughs> Suddenly, a mysterious assassin arrives, overpowering even a gaming prodigy like Flynn with ease. The assassin isn't after Flynn, but instead uses a sonic weapon to attack the internal organs of the woman, demanding a list of names. In a critical moment, Flynn breaks free from her restraints, revealing metallic bones beneath her peeling skin in the struggle, leaving no time to ponder as she engages in a fight with the assassin, allowing the woman to escape. The turn of events surpasses any game narrative, and as Flynn's character is fatally shot with the sonic weapon, she is jolted back to reality. <laughs> Never again. Never fucking again! Distraught and haunted by the intense experiences of the previous night, Flynn grapples with a profound psychological impact, the immersive experience bringing vivid illusions of death. She questions the game's design, pondering whether the inclusion of mechanical elements is a bug or part of a sinister plot. Despite her reluctance to delve deeper, a ghostly message compels her to log back into the dark game. It's of critical importance that you sign back into the serious mission. Immediately. 
you are in great danger. An ad has been posted on the dark net offering a nine million dollar bounty for a contract killer. There's reason to. There's reason. To. And to target. The police discover an enigmatic coffee cup suspended in midair on the outskirts of town, seemingly held by an invisible force. A gentle touch sends the cup rolling down a predetermined path spilling coffee everywhere. Realizing something invisible beneath the cup, the officer reaches out again and feels a metallic shell, deducing the presence of a vehicle. Successfully finding the door handle, the interior appears normal. Fucking A. But the car's exterior can blend into its surroundings. At the central control a button is pressed and a black Audi materializes only to vanish once the door is closed, leaving the officer baffled by this advanced technology. A day earlier, unexpected visitors arrive at a local gas station, raising the sheriff's suspicions, only to be fatally struck by an invisible car. That night, armed individuals infiltrate the woods, mercenaries from the dark web aiming to assassinate Flynn. Forewarned, Flynn alerts her brother Burton, who uses a drone to spot the suspicious figures. Ordinarily, one might have no choice but to surrender, but Burton and his comrades are retired U.S. soldiers. These sorry motherfuckers have no idea who they just picked a fight with. They're both equipped with neural devices for real-time communication and remote drone control. After a fierce gunfight, the mercenaries are defeated, yet the underlying threat remains unresolved. To uncover the truth, Flynn re-enters the game, this time in her own body, and meets the mysterious individual who had warned her. He reveals that her experiences are not part of a virtual game but the stark reality of the physical world. He's not controlling a character but manipulating an avatar in the peripheral world with technology that functions like his own body. When Flynn questions the unfamiliar surroundings, the mysterious figure explains they are in London but 70 years in the future. That a town traveled here? To future London? No, not at all. If it were time travel, as you say, you'd be here physically. This is merely a matter of data transfer. Quantum tunneling is the technical term for it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this.